the Xenomorphs are back and they are just as terrifying as ever. In that, if I ever came face to face with one, I wouldn't try running, I'd just accept my fate because, let's face it, I'm not gonna win. Alien Covenant. So Alien Covenant is the sequel to Prometheus and the prequel to Alien and is once again directed by Ridley Scott, stars Michael Fassbender, Catherine Waterston and Danny McBride. And in this movie we follow a crew of people who are going to a new planet to start colonising it. However on their way they discover another planet which could be inhabitable so they decide to look on that planet just in case because it's a little bit closer. After a certain event happened they're not so keen on going back into their sleeping pods. And once they get down to this planet of course, shit hits the fan. The Xenomorphs start appearing and killing everyone one by one. And with this being in the Alien universe and the sequel to Prometheus, Prometheus being a movie that I really, really enjoyed, I was very excited to see this movie because there are a lot of questions left unanswered in Prometheus and it was leading up to Alien. Now with Ridley Scott at the helm, you can guarantee that this movie is going to look beautiful and it does, but I feel like that is an understatement in this movie because this movie is genuinely beautiful gorgeous. The cinematography in this movie is superb, with Ridley Scott massively blending CG, practical effects and set pieces into one to create a world that I genuinely believe is real, that is out there. And because this movie looks so good that it sucked me into its world, I was more invested in the story, I was invested in where these characters were. And this movie does do what I wanted it to do, it did answer a lot of the questions that Prometheus left unanswered. And yeah, when the Xenomorph appears and starts tearing shit up, that is cool to see. However, those are the things that this movie really has going for it, more of a story and the look of the movie because the characters in this movie I feel are very disposable. There isn't really much backstory towards these characters although they do try to flesh them out I never once connected with a character on an emotional level except maybe Danny McBride's character. And yeah I'm pretty surprised to say that because he was one of my big concerns when I saw him in the trailer. Due to him being a very comedic actor I wasn't sure if he could pull a serious role off or if he was going to be a comic relief in this movie and then have a clash of tones. But he was one of my favourite characters in this movie and one of the characters that was more fleshed out than any other. At the point in the trailer where you see him lean against against the wall, there is a lot more emotion to his character behind that exact moment. And I think Danny McBride did an incredible job of portraying that. He gave an incredible performance in this film. We also have Catherine Watson as Daniels, who is basically the new Ellen Ripley in this movie, and although they do try to flesh out her character, I didn't really feel connected with her character in this film. At least not as much as I probably should have, I just didn't feel like they fleshed her character out enough for me to care enough about her. But without a doubt, the best actor in this entire movie is of course Michael Fassbender, because he has a very, very difficult job in this film. And if you've seen the movie, you'll know exactly what I mean, but I do believe that he portrayed everything that his character needed to portray incredibly convincingly and had a lot of emotion considering he is still a robot. Only his name in this one is Walter and not David. As for the rest of the characters, they're pretty disposable and a lot of them are really, really fucking stupid. Like I've seen in the trailer, without giving too much away, when the girl is begging this other lass to be let out of this certain area and she just runs off leaving her trapped in there, I feel that was a pretty stupid decision because there were so many times she could have let her out. Like, so many. But something really cool about that scene, the backburster, that was pretty fucking awesome, and this movie does deliver on a lot of gory elements, especially the type of gore you'd come to expect when going into an alien film. And in that, I think the gore in this movie was done incredibly tastefully, in that it was awesome, and I loved it. Other issues I have with the movie, as well as the characters being completely disposable and not much emotional depth to them, except for Danny McBride's character, as I've already mentioned, is that there is a clash of tones in this movie, because this movie also had the difficult task of blending Prometheus with the alien universe, and although they hinted at it in Prometheus, this has to tie them together perfectly and in that there is a clash of tones because the first half of this movie is basically a Prometheus sequel and the other half is the alien prequel that a lot of people have been asking for. But asking for in the sense that when Prometheus was released they were disappointed because there was no Xenomorph but in that when it gets to a certain point where it goes from Prometheus to Alien there is a complete tonal shift that is very noticeable. It wasn't too bad because I was completely invested in what was happening on screen but that tonal shift can be changed and if you don't like Prometheus then you may find the first half of this movie really boring so that it gets to the alien parts but if you're not a fan of Alien but you like Prometheus then you may enjoy this first half more than the second half. Also another minor issue is it is a pretty predictable movie in that at the end I saw that coming a mile away. But other than that guys I loved this movie. I had an incredible time in this film. It answered all the questions left by Prometheus as well as providing a good bridge to the classic Alien movie that we all know and love or at least know and love if you're a fan of Alien sci-fi horror movies. And because Ridley Scott did such an incredible job in directing this film the cinematography is absolutely gorgeous. The score as well is stunning and despite most of these characters being disposable I did connect a lot with Danny McBride's character as well as Michael Fassbender who also gave a fantastic performance. I'll definitely watch this movie again and definitely recommend it if you are a fan of Prometheus and the Alien franchise. And so for all of that, I'm going to give Alien Covenant four stars. 
So, Alien Covenant, have you guys seen it yet? What did you think about it? Whatever you thought, let me know in the comment section below. Thanks as always for watching, guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. And if you want to see more videos just like this one, then subscribe to my channel for more. Thanks again for watching. You guys are awesome. And I will see you all in the next video.